Hello. Here I'm starting to um, take off the transfer paper, uh, frisket paper that I have um, over the flower here and starting to airbrush. Um, I just wanted to fill in a little bit of color into the beak so that I wouldn't lose it as I started. And I'm going back in with a little skinny dowel that you see here and uh, kind of taking, scratching out some highlights. Now you'll see me pulling the tape off. And as I do that, I have to kind of hold to the composition panel because it's sliding around. And as you're noticing, I've got to turn the camera on as I painted the flower. <laughs> so now you're seeing me come back in and, and start to lay in some deeper tones and highlights and process of layering colors upon color. And I believe I, this is a uh, magenta color that I have now in the airbrush illustration color. And I'm laying it back over top of a vi violet that I, that I had sprayed on the left-hand side of the flower here, making it a darker uh, shade because the light is coming from the right hand side and this uh, photo is a little bit skewed because of the angle of the camera I'm using my Mars eraser. And this is just a big wooden paintbrush that I sharpened in a sharp pencil sharpener, making a thicker dowel. Just keep building up on that color there. And here I'm coming in with a little bit of red violet in some areas and laying in them. And I'm not real close uh, up on the flower because I'm spraying back a little bit from it so that you get a softer tone. And this is just, a, it's not an eraser, it's a fiber pencil that allows you to scratch out some highlights. Again, this is just a process of continuing to layer and scratch out, layer and scratch out. Thank you for watching.